Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial review of the Get Social plugin that you can get from FX Factory. And basically, we're going to be looking at two different things. One is the little emoji hearts that you can see popping up at the beginning of the video, along with a couple of other symbols, and then this nice little Instagram style box. You can see the animated likes there, super cool little animation. So let's get started. We're going to start with a new blank timeline. So I've set my timeline up and we're going to double click into it. Uh, essentially, the first thing we're going to do is just look at how we add our likes and then how we get them to motion track as we're kind of moving along this wave. We'll come up to our titles and generators at the top left here. And once you've got the Get Social title generator installed, you'll see it here. And we have a few different animated options for our Get Social. We're just going to go for the basic social reaction. So if we click and drag this down to our timeline, and essentially you can see the default is we get this little thumb pop up. If we pop up the inspector and jump into the title generator options, you can see we get some different options here. So we have options for a custom Final Cut Pro emoji. We also have a list of the basic Facebook likes, hearts, ha-has, angry faces, and yays, and all these different uh, animations. We'll stick with the Facebook heart to start with. So I'm gonna get this little animated heart to track one of the surfers in the background here. So I'm gonna move my tracker here, which is this little square. We'll just hover it over this surfer. In fact, we'll just jump back a bit closer to the beginning. We're gonna drag back our clip just a touch here. So we will hover our animation to start and track on this surfer here. And I can modify the area that we're tracking by kind of shrinking or growing this little tracker box here. And then making sure I'm at the beginning of my clip, I'm gonna change a couple settings. We're gonna change this to a high smoothing for our tracker, and then we'll track forwards. So now you'll see we'll get the video animating, and then in the little pop-up object tracker, we'll get that track following our surfer in the background now there on screen. So once that's done, we can play this through, and you can see the heart hovers nicely above there, above our surfer in the background. We can come along here and I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. Clicking on the timeline here, using option and the right square bracket, we'll trim it down and you can see the heart will then animate off at that point. So now all I'm gonna do is just add a few more of these. So we'll drag up, holding the option key, and then I'm gonna move my tracker. So come back to the beginning of this second one. We'll move this tracker across here. I'm gonna adjust the box so that it's tracking this surfer here, and then we'll track forward. See, nice smooth track. We don't need to change the smooth in the second time because we've just duplicated that previous layer. So now you can see we get this nice animation where we get some of those hearts popping up on the different surfers as our surfers moving along this wave. So we'll just add one more social reaction here. And for this one, we're gonna come up to our title options in the inspector. And we're going to go for our SCP emojis. We'll highlight this little smiley face, do Control, Command, and the space bar. And we are going to choose this Shaka surf symbol here. But you can see we've got a whole ton of different options in here that we can use as an emoji uh, for this animation. So we'll double click on this. It's going to replace our smiley face with the Shaka surf hand. I'm going to come back to the beginning of my clip here. And then for this one, we will use this surfer in the middle here and i'm just gonna trim down my box again we'll keep the smoothing on high and track forwards and again you can see nice smooth track that we have there and we can play these three little animations through now and after those animate off we're going to animate to the instagram style animated box so you can see if we scroll down, we've got some other different options. We've got uh, some zoom options, we've got some social windows, so our Facebook posts, Facebook post split. And then further down, we have these zoom options. So we're gonna do the zoom to Instagram post. So we're gonna drag this down to our main storyline here. And I'm just gonna trim my clip down. So by default, we'll get this clip animate on and zoom in. We can change the amount that we zoom in. So you can see we've got some options for the position, the scale. So we can scale this down. So we kind of see that full window there. And it's gonna animate on like this. 
Let's scale up just a tiny bit more. And now we can choose the image that we want to be in here and then also the video that we're going to get to play back in the middle here. So I'm just going to come back to the beginning of my clip. We will drop into the, the avatar drop zone. And actually before we do that, I'm just going to bring up the graphics. I've got my portrait here. We will scroll down, click on the avatar drop zone and it's going to grab that portrait. So I can click once there and then apply the clip here on the bottom left and we'll get that avatar popping up on the top left, a little bit too big at the moment. So we can scroll down and we can modify the avatar scale within the drop zone so that we're framing that a bit better. And then we will come down to the large drop zone, which is the video that we're gonna put here or the image in the middle. So I'll click here once. We are gonna to come to just before this guy jumps up on the wave. And that is where our clip is gonna start. We'll hit apply clip. And now you can see this will animate on and right from the get go, we'll get that nice surfing action in that window. So we'll trim this down and that will play through. And what I want to do is just drop this onto a background here. So I'm going to just come to my titles and generators. We'll scroll down and we're going to use a solid generator, a custom generator. We'll just drop this into the background. And again, I'll trim this down using option and the right square bracket. We'll drag our clip above here. Make sure these are the same length at the end. And then for our custom solid, we'll come up to the top right here and we'll select a color. We'll choose this orange in the background. And you can see now we get this nice kind of flip to the second clip with our little Instagram style box popping up. We can turn off the animate out or the build out for our Instagram window, which I'm going to do. So it's going to animate on, do that nice little zoom and then hang there right till the end. And we'll just trim this around about here before the video stops. So now I want to just add a little transition between my surf video and my custom video here. We're going to come across to our transitions, the two little triangles, and we're going to scroll down to lights and we'll just use the flash transition. So basically we're going to get a little flash as that little Instagram window pops up and that's working pretty nicely. So you can see here we get a nice level of control with these different animations. We get those nice kind of little emojis popping up following the action and these really useful social media animations that you can include in your videos. Lots of nice flexibility and other options um, within the Get Social plugin. Um, definitely a plugin worth having a look at. And one of the nice things always about the FX Factory plugins is you can try them out before you buy them. So you can install a kind of watermarked version of it, test it out, have a look at it and see which one works the best. We've got some other things which we haven't looked at here yet like the social icons, some social media tweets, YouTube subscribe buttons as well. So super useful set of different tools and animations that we can use in our videos in a number of different ways. So definitely a lot of very cool, useful animations here. If you have any questions about this or other tutorials, then do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.